Welcome back guys, my name is Om and this week I'm creating a Travis Scott moving over list. You can use this on any clip that you want, but I'm going to use City Hall and random green screen and stock footage I found from the internet. Fire a Premiere Pro and place your background onto track 1. On top of that, we're going to place the stock footage clips that I got from the internet. Once you've placed your stock clip on the second track, create a small rectangle mask from the top to the bottom, starting from the left hand side of the screen. In the opacities property, set the feather to zero. Go into the timeline by three frames and make a cut. Repeat this seven times. In the clip after the one you've cut, you need to adjust your mask so it lines up perfectly with the previous mask. Do this until you reach the middle of the shot. You can change the size of your mask to match the middle of your frame. Then we're going to add the second stock clip on the third track. What you want to do now is to make all the cuts first and then one by one copy the opacities property from the track below and into the new clip. After you've done this, you will need to offset the entire track by three frames. As we've made a cut, you know exactly where to line it up. That is, starts when the first stock clip is already one step further. Do this process another six, seven, eight times so you can make it look like a cool animation. This, I know, will be a tedious job, but stick with it. You can nest it all together and now you have one clip with a mask animation. Next thing to do is duplicate that nest sequence as many times as you want. Position them on the timeline at the point of where the previous animation of the mask opens up on the left hand side. When you do this, you'll create an endless loop of moving masks. Now again, nest everything together. Make a duplicate of this new nest sequence and in the effects panel search for flip horizontal. Add this to the top nest sequence and now the animation starts from both sides. The only thing you now have to do is go into the effects control panel and in the opacities property set the blend mode to screen. You can also adjust the opacity to around 50% and just for fun I've added a green screen shot on top and there you go. That's it for today guys. I hope this wasn't too fast this week. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you next week.